Our next question comes from Fairfax County, where last night's Board of Supervisors approved a $25 million grant to help small businesses there. But Jess Arnold has been looking into this for us. And Jess, how will this money help and how many businesses do they think are going to benefit from this? Well, the board chair says they're hoping to help all of the ones who apply and those requirements should be fairly easy to meet. He helped me break it all down for you. We spoke with Alicia Russman Monday. She owns Undeniable Boutique in Fairfax and had to close in March. She's one of about 2,000 people who applied for a micro loan through Fairfax County, according to the Board of Supervisors chair. Alicia didn't get one. Having some negative experiences with the various programs and getting some immediate denials was disappointing. Chairman Jeffrey McKay said the number of applications clearly showed that two and a half million dollars was insufficient. Now, the county is offering $25 million in grants with the goal of helping all their small businesses stay afloat. So, who can apply? The principal business has to be in Fairfax County, and you gotta have fewer than 50 employees. If you're like Alicia and were outright denied the loan, Chairman McKay says apply for the grant. If you made it into the loan lottery, he said they'll work to transfer over your application. And this program is designed to overtake uh, that, that loan program and frankly eliminate it. How much money could you expect to see? Up to $20,000. The county's doling it out based on how many employees you have, as you can see from this funding structure. Now, if 2,000 business owners apply for the $25 million, in theory, each one could get $12,500. We're hoping that it's sufficient, but frankly, if it's not, uh, I know our board is ready to increase that amount so that we can try to fund uh, virtually every business or hopefully every business that, that applies. The goal? So we are trying uh, to make sure that we're helping those that fall through those other cracks, uh, those that have one hand tied behind their back in a conventional uh, economy. Now, in the spirit of helping the most vulnerable bu businesses, Chairman McKay said that they're setting aside a third of that $25 million for women, veteran, and minority-owned businesses. Jess, what was the thinking behind that? The chairman says statistics show that they often have the hardest time getting federal loans and grants. Plus, the county says they make up 32% of their businesses and employ 80,000 people. Yeah, absolutely. They said it's such a large chunk of their economy. They want to make sure that they're supporting them appropriately. And in terms of the process for the grant application, that'll be opening up in early June, but they haven't yet set a specific timeline. Bruce.